Hey, hey you. Yeah, you. Check it out, dudes. Someone's back for more. So it's another episode, which means it's the start of something new. What? What? Oh, you're asking if you're going to like this episode? Well, <laughs> you're surely going to bet on it, bet on it, bet on it, bet on it. So it's time. The boys are back. The boys are back. And we're welcoming you to the high school musical episode of the Sus Podcast. Take it away, AJ. One, two, three, four. Welcome, friends, to our podcast where the topics read wide and the vibe is lax. Screw up, sash. Screw up, sash. Welcome, everybody, to the Sus Podcast. Hello, everyone. It's. Since hey. Ramon stole part of what I was going to say in my intro, I guess, yes, the boys are back. Back to save oh. the day. Um, <laughs> welcome, everyone, to this new episode of the SUS podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about, if you haven't guessed already by that one-minute intro filled with references to said topic, High School Musical. Yes. Four guys just sitting around talking about, you know, a trilogy of Disney movies together. Because why not? We love it. The whole world loves it. Um, this is kind of a topic that we've been wanting to talk about for a really long time. Even without the whole concept of having a podcast, this is something that we regularly discuss. Whether it be, you know, plot songs or best movie overall. And we thought, why not share it? with everyone who's watching because we're sure that there are other people who love High School Musical as much as we do as well. So throughout this podcast, you're going to be hearing each of our thoughts on, you know, what our favorite songs were in the trilogy, our initial thoughts on the entire concept of High School Musical, as well as what we think is the best movie overall. And we actually have a guest here with us today, Mr. Enrico Canapi. Please show yourself, sir. Yes. Hey. He's going to serve as our moderator today to give the final judgment and verdict on what he thinks the best high school musical movie is overall, depending on our defenses and, you know, our debate topics. So without further ado, let us start with the initial thoughts of Mr. Diego LaFranco. Me? Thank you. Great introduction. Great introduction. Okay. So, High School Musical. It's been a, it's been a while since the, the ending of that series. It's been a decade. More than that. More than. More than. Oh, yeah. 13 years, we, I think. We are old. Okay. So, yeah. You're old. Great series. <laughs> you know, uh, I could, like, <laughs> like, a very, very fun movie. Great songs. You know, very memorable. Basically, like, it's big part of my childhood you know uh i i have to say though with like now that i think about it uh high school musical like gen- like beat, uh, was the reason i started getting interested in some musicals i feel like it's because of that that's basically like my intro to a musical it, it's kind of a musical not like the normal broadway things but like yeah, because of that, because of that, I guess like it became interesting to me, uh, about uh, to see musicals now for some reason. It's a good start. It's a great series. True, true. Mister yeah. Ramon. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I feel High School Musical is like a, you know, it. We we grew up with it. You know, our generation like. Uh, us late 90s to early 2000s kids so since it was released at like 2006 and then the next two years after for the sequels so you know uh, Jago pretty much you know nailed it when he said that uh, this was kind of like a like an introduction to musicals because I could say the same for myself since I'm pretty sure High School Musical would technically be one of the first musicals I've 
scene as a kid since you know I I wasn't really like a music person as a kid so um, compared to now but yeah um, any other thoughts really it's just I'm happy that I grew up with it I think it's iconic uh, definitely still holds up to today I mean we are 22 year old dudes talking ah, about it on a podcast <laughs> ah. So yeah, it, yeah, it's uh, it's great. I love high school musical. Yeah, I realize now how hard it is going after more than one person because pretty much everything <laughs> that you want to say has kind of been said. Yeah, I completely agree with both of them. And also, it's it's really good how, despite not being in high school when the actual movies came out, I was still able to relate. To what was going on a lot because they're basically just displaying a normal school setting regardless of what age you are what year you are yeah. and being able to grow up with something like that i'm not gonna lie when i watched the trilogy the first time i kind of thought some of the stuff happening there would happen in <laughs> high school I, i'm sure we all did we had those you know yeah, yeah. of having like the sure. close friends it gave us it gave us unrealistic expectation <laughs> exactly but not to the point that we were completely disappointed because a lot of the yeah, yeah. the lessons and things that they go through in the trilogy as people we go through that same stuff too and that made it easier to relate to especially you know revisiting it now in this time like like after years of it being on air and all of that so yeah i'm really happy that this trilogy existed even for us guys like we were able to enjoy it to the fullest and really relate to a lot of the things that were going on at that time. Yeah, uh, High School Musical is an old childhood classic dating back to the ancient times of 2006. That was practically 15 years ago. 15! We're old. Damn. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah, we weren't, we weren't even in high school Sheesh. at that time yet. So. Bro, we were grade two. Yeah, we just, we just started grade school. Grade school. Grade school. Grade school. Yeah, we were straight yeah. up kids, man. Literally. Yeah. Since, yeah. So since grade school, grade school, we were grade school. And high school musical shows up. The, the thought that came to my mind was, hey, wait, wait, wait. Is, is, is this what high school is about? Is this what's going to happen to me in high school? <laughs> yeah, same thoughts with, 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 with this fellow right here. I thought this was going to happen in high school too. Then, uh, then People when I went to high song. school, <laughs> <laughs> minus of course, minus of course the song and dance number. But when I went to high school, oh, it's not like that. Unrealistic. My expectations was ruined. But regardless, it was a feel good, feel good, feel good movie. That's uh, really great to be enjoyed, no matter what age you are. Uh, this just this just this just shows that even if we're even if you're a kid or a high school student or a college student or a young adult, you'd still enjoy high school musical. Because uh, uh, not only for the nostalgia glasses, but also because uh, it's it's a really good movie with pretty good trilogy with a good story, a good lesson, and it just makes makes you feel good and bubbly inside. Hey, speaking of a song and dance number, because you said that, I was imagining. If we did that in our, in, in our school, which is which is like <laughs> six courts total. Oh my god! Stuff, you know, <laughs> yeah, the CSA cafetorium is pretty big, man. It's it's the yeah, the cafetorium. It could hold a dance number. Asia, not gonna lie. Yeah. yeah, but <laughs> that's a lot of ground to cover. <laughs> Yeah. And need to be an Olympic <laughs> athlete to do a song and dance. It's actually not cafeteria. that unrealistic. Uh, thinking about it now, like if you were to hold a musical in that cafetorium, there could oh, be a number yeah. that could happen. I think, I think the closest we ever did that was the Harlem Shake thing. <laughs> so, oh yeah, that that trended a lot in 2012. <laughs> was, uh, and a lot of people were really into that. That was first year, right? First year. Yeah, breaking yeah, yeah, yeah. randomly it was, uh, breaking uh, into dance. For yeah. all those who don't know what the Harlem Shake is, yeah, that, it's what he said. There's a song, then you just like randomly dance at one point. Just search it up. You, it's the inter- It's in the internet. It's actually somewhere. pretty catchy. Not gonna lie, even if it's the same tune on loop, just listen to it. It's pretty catchy. 
Yeah. <laughs> Say so. Yeah. Not, something, not something you listen to always, but it's like a good meme. Like it's a song. meme thing. Yeah. That's true. Anyway, okay. before we get out of the topic. Yeah. yeah. So before, before we discuss our picks for the best of the trilogy, I feel like we should start with what our favorite song is. For, oh, from for each sure. Film. The songs are... Like ha- like one of the biggest, <laughs> if not the biggest parts of the movie, actually. They're like, like that's what stands out. Yeah, that's yeah, what stands out the, the most. Movie. What you talking about? It's like, yeah, it's like, it's like most most of like what you remember from the, the trilogy is the are the songs, not the story. Of course. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, the stories are really good too, but you know, the whole fact that it's a musical, the songs yeah. are really the ones that resonate the most with people. Like when you think. High School Musical, you're not going to think of story right away. You're going to think of a song. And, you know, this This was the hardest part, I think, for us in our pre-discussion to figure out which our favorite songs were because there are so many good uh, ones that it's so hard to pick one per movie. Well, okay. The original was one period. We couldn't do that. We, were, we, had, we had to make it one per movie because that was just not possible. But I think we're able to narrow it down. So, Diego, you want to start us off? Yeah. So, okay. For me, it was only hard for the first two. Because the third one, it was way too obvious. Now. So, I'll start from High School Musical. High School Musical 1. So, my uh, pick for best song of the first installment of the series was Breaking Free. Uh, the, the culmination of the whole story. And... Yeah, now that I've uh, 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 like re-listened to all of the songs and like slowly remember the story through the songs, um, "Breaking Free" is really like even though there's the we're all in this together, it really isn't. It it really doesn't like sum up the whole movie. "Breaking Free" is the climax of the of the whole like situation that happened in the movie since it started with the start of something new, which for both of the uh, main characters is performing in theater so being able to break free after being told that they have to st- to stick to the status quo it like it's very uplifting to know that you you are not you can you don't have to be pigeonholed into one hobby that you have or one thing you are known for like you can be like hum- uh, people are very you know multifaceted so we're not just defined by one personality you know so yeah it feels like it's just a good culmination to the whole story of breaking free so so high school musical too uh it not the my pick here not as in-depth as the last one <laughs> it's just uh <laughs> my pick <laughs> is uh i don't dance <laughs> Because, because yeah. <laughs> like of two, because of two things. One, the choreography of doing it in a baseball field. Okay, that was pretty good. Second, as a kid, I feel like I could relate to that. I don't dance. <laughs> it's very simple. <laughs> like I can't dance. Get as as cool as room. dance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, as cool as dancing is, as much as I appreciate it. Well, I guess like High School Musical also helped me appreciate dancing. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't dance. Very catchy, good choreography, and could relate to little little Diego. <laughs> and High School Musical Three, it was it was this was it had the best songs High School Musical Three for in my opinion. But it was really easy. Which one was my top pick? It's Can I Have This Dance? It's it's just beautiful. I I I, I can't. I don't know <laughs> if if I could. I could use this whole episode to explain the whole trilogy. Uh, not the whole trilogy. The whole reason why I love this song. I'll sum it up. It's the best uh, like a duet of the two main characters. It was just so cute. <laughs> it was like, you know, it's, uh, he asked her to prom there. Then, they ha- then later on in the movie, spoiler to those who haven't watched. If you haven't watched, why haven't you? So yeah, it was just like uh, the second part of the song is Troy visits Gabriella on the day of their prom because Gabriella went to college early. That's a thing, <laughs> apparently. So it's just very, it's like the best song for their relationship. Yeah. 
It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, so up next, Ramon, what are your picks? All right. So I guess we can all agree that all of the songs are bops. Right? So it's really hard to pick. It's really hard to pick like the top five, a top three, hell, for even sure. one. So, but yeah, for each movie, um, starting with the first one, I had to agree with Jago and say that Breaking Free is, well, I don't want to say best. I'm saying these because they're my favorites, but you know, they don't have to be the best. We don't think they're the best. So yeah, Breaking Free is my favorite because yeah, it's, it's a really good song. I mean, I'm pretty sure they made it a single, like they released it as a single. And then it like did really well. And yeah, like what Jago said earlier, it was in the climax of the film. And yeah, he pretty much explained like the meaning behind the song, the relations with the previous songs that go that kind of go hand in hand with the story. So yeah, Breaking Free is just all about spreading your wings and uh, not worrying about the opinions or expectations of other people. And just doing what you want and having fun with it. So yeah, breaking free. For the second movie, uh, it would definitely be bet on it. I, I had another song in mind, but bet on it just keeps coming back to me every single time. I can't get enough of that song. I I know it's memed a lot, but apart from all the memes, all the jokes, it's actually a really good song. It's yeah, it's, it's it's a solid song. Um, it's really all about just taking control of your life again, you know, kind of just getting back on track. And yeah, of course, Troy, you know, frolicking around the, the, the golf course was iconic in its own right. Definitely one of the most recognizable scenes in high school musical uh, history, like the entire franchise. Um, very well loved so yeah it's a very catchy song and yeah it's an earworm for me <laughs> and then for the third one i would actually go for a pretty a pretty underrated song uh right here right now Ooh. so this was this is another like troyella duet and uh, yeah. this was actually sang in like the beginning part of the movie i think this was like the second song yeah, it so was. like after, after the intense uh, start with now or never, uh, it was nice to kind of see like an intimate moment between the couple, um, in like the treehouse. So like there was a party going on, and they were in the treehouse. They had like their moment, so it was really sweet. And I think it actually the message of the song kind of goes hand in hand with "Can I Have This Dance," which is what Jago picked, because right here, right now is more on kind of like just appreciating like the moment that they have and then can I have this dance followed that up with hey even though we won't have the same moments as much anymore we're still going to be committed to one another despite being far apart so it, it was a nice like um, kind of like uh, it continued really well so yeah and you know the treehouse the treehouse thing the roof when it opened it's, and there was like the stars, you know, it was pretty cool. So, yeah, the treehouse. Yeah, how did that happen? Yeah, it had like a mechanical roof. That opened up. So, no, I think that was that was imaginary for it from their part that they saw the stars. Really? The yeah, I think it was imaginary. <laughs> I don't know. There's I, no I way Troy's like... not rich that his treehouse was built with the... What? <laughs> yeah. It could be a simple, a simple like fully... Yeah, yeah, maybe it was a, some kind of mechanical like maneuver. Yeah. Let us yeah, know in the comments if you know the answer, whether yeah, yeah. or not. But really, yeah, really underrated song. Really beautiful song too. I like it. So yeah, that's my that's my pick. That was actually uh, so, like that was my runner up for like. Yeah, that was your runner up. Yeah. To be a so like to to kind of like uh, recap. Okay. So my three picks are soaring, flying, frolicking man, and treehouse shenanigans. <laughs> Okay. 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 And okay. Again. okay. Sorry, okay. I'm getting distracted because I can see my my old Max Steel like action figures. Oh, Max Steel in the back. No. Yeah. Don't worry. Classic. They won't 
cool. Yeah, they want and then there's a Silver Surfer there also on the side, if you can see, because I used to be a super big, like, Silver Surfer fan. Silver Surfer. So I have all my old action figures up there because they're, like, protected. I keep thinking I Silver Surfer. So um, silver Different meaning. <laughs> Almost all my picks were already mentioned. Dang. <laughs> my <laughs> these two. Yeah, so my first, from the first movie, because this was really hard, because... I initially actually had one song already overall that I had picked to be the best because I really personally think it is the best song from all the three trilogies. But since we're picking one per movie, um, from the first, it would be Stick to the Status Quo. Just because one, it's so catchy. Like that's the one, from High School Musical 1, if I think about it, it's the first song that's stuck in my head, like singing in the cafeteria, just banging on tables and stuff like that. But also the message... Like realizing it now as like an an adult or an incoming adult. Um, how it really is the same in every school setting where people expect you to be a certain way and only do these things because they think that that's what you're meant to be doing. And the mere thought of having another interest is completely out of the question, which is not how life should be played, you know. You are your own person. You're allowed to be whoever and whatever you want, which is what I think this trilogy captured so perfectly. Even if it had just started, you know, with that song in the first movie, that's kind of the message that carried out throughout the entire trilogy. For the second movie, it's I Don't Dance, which is basically, it's technically the stick to the status quo of the second movie, if you think about it, because they're acknowledging that they don't do these kinds of things. And the whole point of Ryan trying to convince Chad that, you know, by playing baseball, it's actually the same thing as dancing. Like, you can be good at more than one thing. And throughout the song, Chad keeps, you know, fighting back, saying, like, I don't dance, I only play baseball. That's why that moment in the end of the song where even though Ryan lost, Chad acknowledges that, oh, dancing can be fun. And he asks him, you know, I'm not saying that I'm going to dance, but if I were going to do it, like, what would you have me do? That That is kind of just like the perfect song for that movie. It kind of captures that message that was trying to be, you know, displayed throughout this trilogy. Um, for the third movie, and this is my pick for the best song. It is right here, right now, honestly. It's mm. like watching the, the, the music video again recently. It's the message is really it's so subtle when you watch it as a kid, but it actually has the strongest, like deeper meaning when you watch it again as an adult. It's basically they're accepting reality that high school is is gonna end and that you know their lives aren't meant to be in this musical like world that they've created for themselves. And they're just accepting that, you know, time's not gonna stop and we should just enjoy this moment. Like what Ramon said, just enjoy what you have at this time and worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. Like, don't think about tomorrow's problems today. Just enjoy today for today and wait for, you know, tomorrow to come because you never know. It might actually be better than you thought it would. And, you know, them just having that little moment where they accept the world for what is and everything that's happening as what is. It was just a perfect song. And it, it flexed Zach Efron's voice a lot. Because I think that's, that's yeah. the song where he sounds his best. He has a really good high note. And like fun fact, if you watch the extended version of High School Musical 3, because I'm pretty sure a lot of you will have only watched the theatrical cut or the one that's shown on Disney, there's actually a second part to right here, right now, in the extended version, halfway through the movie where Troy's standing in his treehouse and Gabriella's standing in, like, her balcony. And then they're singing about how, like, in three months, like, everything that we knew is going to be done. So they're kind of getting more into the thought that, oh, this is really how life is going to go. Like, we can't be stuck in this fantasy that we've been living in forever. Like, we have to grow up at some point. Which is why, I don't know, for me, that's the best song in the entire trilogy. Just because, you know the meaning and the lyrics and you know the choreography wasn't even big but it's it yeah. was so natural and free-flowing like all their twirls and like them dancing in a treehouse it's actually really hard to do so you know props the intimacy to, 
Yeah, yeah exactly. The chemistry was perfect. So props to <laughs> Vanessa Hodgins and Zach Efron. You guys did such a great job. You really made the world fall in love with your relationship in that song. I mean, it's because they were in a relationship during no, the time. No, but I mean, like, so, yeah, it's only really to like, the rest of the world. Like, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, like, it's, like, <laughs> it felt natural, really. Because Great they were in a So it was easy. It was easy. Yeah. It's not acting anymore. It's just them being together. It's just them being them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's just great. That's yeah. a dream. <laughs> a dream. <laughs> All right. Edward, All right. time for you to seal us off in this song, uh, song debate. Time for me to take it away. All right. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet since uh, the two of my uh, favorite songs for this topic is already taken and explained by two of my fellows right here. Counting down from High School Musical 3, uh, we got my favorite song. It's in the beginning. It's now. I know it's uh, it's part of the musical thing, the gig, but Sing during a championship game. Wow, that's really nice. I like it. I like Audacity. it. Audacity. <laughs> Sing during the championship game. Of course, of course. After the, and then after choreography the. while playing basketball. And then the cherry on top. <laughs> the ending of that song was when this clueless looking guy, I forgot his name. He looked Rocket like he Man. didn't know what to do. Rocket, Rocket Man, Man, Jimmy the Rocket then... Zara. Jimmy the Rocket Zara. <laughs> Rocket Man, yeah, yeah. Uh, he looked like he didn't know what he was going to do. So he just like, Damn it, oh, damn it all and just shot it long. Showed when it. When he did that, <laughs> when he did that, right, the Wildcats like... won. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Troy was like, but, yeah, yeah. Troy, Troy risked his body just for that pass. Yeah. <laughs> and clearly, and... like, West High didn't give two craps about any player but Troy because he was the only one they were blocking. Yeah. yeah. Maybe he, they were taking the only a competition, the only according to the West Side good guy. But uh, don't underestimate the little guy, especially Rocket Man. Exactly. <laughs> that's my yeah. uh, that's my favorite for high school musical. Good Three. pick, good pick. All right. Hmm. Continuing to the countdown, we got high school musical two. As stated before by my fellow, it was already explained. It's I don't. Dance. Oh. Dude. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say bet on it just because of the No, theme. that's an honorable mention lang for me. <laughs> the, the image of Troy Bolton frolicking around the golf course in the Nevada <laughs> desert or Utah. Unforgettable. And one of the frolicking best childhood man. memories I could ever receive. Thank you, Disney, for imprinting that in my mind. Anyway, going you back to my jerk favorite. the golf balls in that song. Yeah, yeah man, they didn't pick it up. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He shot it into the Fair. water and didn't pick it up. Very yeah. irresponsible. <laughs> irresponsible. But that frolic. And the fake reflection. <laughs> Gotta work on my way. Gotta do my own thing. And with the hand okay. movements. <laughs> <laughs> All right, off topic. All right, going back. Yeah, as uh, Jago stated, I don't dance. The choreography. Choreography. Made me, made me really believe oh, that yeah, these yeah. baseball players didn't know how to dance and yet they can dance uh, perfectly in this uh, dusty baseball field playing dust everywhere That's doing true. hoops like busting their ass busting their asses you and I like that I like yeah that. good for them none of them had asthma because who yeah, yeah. The, the dirt yeah. That they were like <laughs> it's like mm, they were intentionally be... kicking their feet in the ground like in your face yeah, right? yeah. yeah. You that sandbox is pretty like yeah, can you imagine if there was a, a guy with asthma in the crowd <laughs> and inhaled? Damn. But the crowd was enjoying. They were doing their own. Ah, don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they would probably think the sneezing would be a dance move. <laughs> <Yeah, they're> like... <laughs> <laughs> For extra effect in there. <laughs> All right. Last in my countdown is High School Musical 1. I'm surprised none of you said it. Uh, my favorite song in the first first, first of the trilogy. You know, it's the classic, the ending the ending song. We're all yeah, yeah. this yeah. together. Like, yeah. It's the culmination <laughs> of everything that's happened in the first movie. Where the whole, it's top the whole five. Song, yeah, top five. for sure. Ah, it's top okay. five. All right. Where the whole school, or at least everyone important in the school, were dancing in the gymnasium. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's main characters. 
Yeah, 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 the yeah. characters and then the support. My argument for that song, I'll save it later for when I explain my pick. Yeah, for fair it. enough, but this is my <laughs> thingy thing. All right. Everyone's dancing, everyone's, everyone's having a good time. And as Family Guy said best, the more people join in, the song will get better. True. <laughs> and, and fun fact, you know. School did, did perfectly, no mistakes, 100 out of 100, especially with this song, we're all in this together. True, true. So that's and my, fun uh, fact too, you know, whoever's going to watch the first movie again, if you look in the bleachers during We're All In This Together, there's like a grandmother who's like super dancing. Oh, what? Maybe you guys can try and spot it, but there's like a grandmother who's like super Vibe. duper dancing. And I was so shocked. I was like, whoa, I did not notice that at all. Like, I don't know whose grandmother it was, but she was like moving okay. better than like a lot of the people on those bleachers. So fun okay. fact, if you guys want to look at Another that. fun fact about High School Musical 1 as well. Uh, Anton told me this like, earlier this week um, when he was when he was like watching the trilogy all over again <laughs> in the whole in the first movie where it's it has been said that Zac Efron wasn't singing every song like he had parts where it was his voice then they had another guy hit the high notes it's because they didn't adjust the songs to uh, the key. notes that that yeah to his key but there is uh, so one of his songs was start of something new most of it he didn't sing <laughs> but he did sing he did have a verse on it later in the movie while visiting Gabriella it was actually him singing so yeah he can I tell think, because of I think how yeah high. by reading yeah, his cause... voice we're not 100% sure but it sounds yeah. a lot like Zac Efron but, uh, yeah but it like was... it's been, it, the, the pitch like everybody knew that at this point now nah. like I, I think by the second movie like they were like, oh, that's probably not Zach Efron's voice in the first one, not the whole thing. Yeah, it was like a lower, kind of slowed down version, ish. They probably adjusted yeah. it so that Zach Efron could sing that part because like, sing that be natural. So Gabriella falls in love with you again. <laughs> he liked that song, so he was like, "Can I sing it again, please?" <laughs> yeah, what if he brought the other guy Adjust who actually sang the song with him, and he's like, "You're gonna do it with me, so it sounds the same when we sing to Gabriella." <laughs> Oh, also another fun fact, that guy who was singing the higher notes for Zac Efron in the first movie, he was the one who replaced him on the tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's the one in the tour. Yeah, because Zac Efron was busy doing other movies. Because he wants to branch out. Good for him. True, true. Good for Zac Efron. All right. So we're done with the songs. It's time to get to business. Best overall story. We'll start. <laughs> oh, best overall story and movie. It was kind of the yeah, same. Just, thing, just, like, just the best. Yeah. The best of the three. The best. The, the best trilogy. Each of our picks for the best movie. So start with you, right. Jericho. <laughs> ha ha. Let's go, baby. Okay. My pick. Let's go, baby. It's the series. No, no, of course. It's not the series. Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> okay, the series is pretty bad. good, though. Don't yeah, I know, but bad. it's. Yeah, yeah but I compared know, to the not... movies, it's graphically the movies, yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. For sure. The fact they're not in the same universe, technically, is is what makes it like its own thing. So yeah, so my pick is the third one, the third movie, High School Musical three, senior year. <laughs> that was the question. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Probably. it was. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, because it's just like the songs, the song, the song, the the soundtrack of that whole movie was incredible <laughs> I, I don't think like looking back at it I don't think there was a like a weak song to it uh well okay maybe maybe Gabriella's solos were the weakest <laughs> you should <laughs> no offense it's just like I just didn't rhyme with it because it's very sad usually so yeah so it's like a great like, high school musical 3 soundtrack a very great um Again, my favorite of all of like the whole series is there. My top two actually, like those previously said, uh, "Can I have this dance?" And right here, right now. Um, the story of it, like as a twenty-two-year-old, oh my god, it's weird saying it. As a twenty-two-year-old, like looking back, right, like yeah, I miss senior and like senior year in some ways, <laughs> not everything, but yeah, you know, some moments, some moments in that movie, like I wished I had like. Like the whole can I have this dancing? I really just love that song. <laughs> just you know, 
I really wish I had that moment. But yeah, it's just, it was so good. I don't know. I, I don't know what else to say. You know, so good, relatable at this age for me. Yeah. Okay, so we got one red third. Yeah. Three oh, baby. Okay. So, yeah, I, I, I agree with what Love said about High School Musical 3 and everything you said about it. But my favorite would be the original, the first one. Um, I think, like, me personally in a movie, what I'm really looking for is the message. And I think everybody pretty much already mentioned what the message the first movie kind of conveyed to to the audience, to the watchers of the film. And yeah, it was, the message was so important because the target audience were kids, teenagers, and those were the, those were the people who kind of go to the same issues that the characters go through in the movie. All about, you know, figuring out who you want to be or experimenting new things and realizing that, hey, I can do multiple things and not just put myself in like a, in a, in a certain stereotype or in a box, limit myself, especially if it doesn't even make me happy. So it's really, it's nice to kind of see all the characters, all these kids, like in different, different worlds in a sense. And then they all kind of go through this realization or internal journey where they realize that, yeah, I can be this, I can be that. I don't have to worry about what others think because that's not what, that's not what matters. What matters is I'm happy with what I'm doing. So yeah, and I also like kind of like a side note, like the dynamic between Troy and Gabriella, their romance. I like how it's not the cliche where one person kind of changes who they are just so that they could be with the other person. For this one, it's more on the two of them kind of like figuring out who they are, like going through their own journeys and then getting together, which makes their romance even like even sweeter. It 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 feels very genuine because you could see these two, you know, liking the same things and it really just solidifies their relationship. It makes it stronger despite breaking up three times. <laughs> through song right. so yeah yeah, so, yeah <laughs> the, whole, uh, the whole series <laughs> yeah the whole series but yeah um yeah what else uh yeah it's just it's a, it's a disney classic you know you you have a message a core message a really important one combine that with great actors great characters that the actors play great music great dance numbers wrap it all up, you have a Disney classic that still stands to until now, 15 years yeah. later. And yeah, it's the first one may be old school. It may have the most old school vibe, but honestly, that's what kind of Disney is missing nowadays. They don't really do it the same way anymore. That's just me. But yeah, it's it was magical, especially at that time. And it's my favorite. So yeah. Okay, so that's one for yeah. three and one for one. Okay, yeah. going into this, I I had an answer set, but I decided to rewatch the trilogy again, like this past week, just to give every movie a fair chance. Because, you know, as a kid, you think everything's <laughs> kind of good. And then when you, know, that's when you kind of see more and more of the flaws. So I really tried to pay attention to detail when I was watching all of these movies and I'm glad to say that I still stick with my answer going in to watching the trilogy again. I think that High School Musical 3 senior year is really it's really the best. Number one, I'm a I'm a sucker for a great ending. Like when I'm done watching a movie or a trilogy or like a sequel, I want to make sure that everything that was left open has been closed by the end. And uh, how I met your mother. <laughs> Sto uh, story for another time. But yeah. props, props to Laga to Kenny Ortega. His attention to detail in all of the callbacks 
is absolutely fantastic in the third movie. Especially in not only the callbacks, but all of the scenes also that he decided to add. Like, the little moments are actually what made the movie, like, greater for me. Like, I don't know if you want me to mention them now, like, what I noticed, or do you want me to wait until... I mean, we can Maybe save after. it for yeah. the general. Yeah. Okay, I'll save that for later. Yeah. But for verdict. Also, because, you know, me being a senior in high school, it hit me a lot earlier than near the end of the year that, you know, we were going to be leaving. And the closer I got to my friends, the harder it was for me to imagine being in a reality where, you know, I hardly got to see them anymore. I mean, we got lucky where our entire group na ended up in the same college, but it wasn't the same for a lot of other people. So I can't imagine what they were going through at that time. And the way it's shown in High School Musical 3, that whole concept of not only graduating, but also having to accept that it's time to enter the real non-high school world. Because I know when you're in high school, you're kind of in, in this your own world. Everything's set up for you, same group of people all the time. But once you leave high school, that's when everyone separates. It becomes more of a reality that like this might be how life is going to be from now on. And being okay with separating because, you know, that might be the only way that all of you can grow. Like, you'll still see each other a lot and be able to hang out with each other from time to time. But it definitely won't be the same. That's what made it so hard for them in the third movie to kind of move on, which is why they had that whole thing of doing one more musical, one more number, one more blah, blah. Same for us in, in real life. Like, when we were about to leave high school, we made sure to do a lot of things together so that we'd be able to, you know, to have stuff that we can look back on at this age now. And the way that they portrayed that whole concept in the third movie is so realistic. There's nothing there that I thought would be not, you know, not real. Like, there's nothing when I watched it that I would say, no, that's not gonna happen. Even the whole thought that Gabriella and Troy don't get their happy ending. Like, they accept that they're going to different schools. And that, you know, they can't be together forever, but they're still gonna make it work. That's really what real life is all about. You know, the, the effort to maintain friendships and relationships with everyone that you met and everyone you care about. That's really what high school is supposed to be about, right? And I know, like, it's not it's not an original concept anymore because it's the third movie. But in its own way, it's still an original story because that's the first time that they actually accepted that they're not going to be in high school anymore. They like, could have started thinking about it in the second movie when they were about to enter the senior year and they were applying for college. But, you know, they they really, they didn't dwell on the fact that they were just going to all be separating and they were like, oh no, it's not going to, this friendship's not going to work out. It's, it's useless to keep in touch. They actually made the effort to do as much as they could together before they left. And they made sure that they would still all keep in touch with each other afterwards. So, I don't know, for me, that's this is the perfect ending, honestly. Hey, Eddie boy. All right. Last but not the least. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you know, I'm a sucker for a good story. So I'm sure you know this already. So this would mean uh, that my favorite story overall. All the trilogy movies. Favorite is a uh, high school musical one, because uh, at this time it was still uh, it was still early for uh, Disney cinema or at least uh, early for cinema for for people in their own cliques and tropes to to br- to branch out. Because uh, you're normally at this point uh, the nerd would just uh, solve solve their problems by being a nerd, or the jock would solve uh, say a scholarship problem by say a tuition problem by going scholarship but uh, in high school musical one uh, they introduced uh, not maybe not for the first time but uh, early on when this was still new or breaking from the norms of storytelling uh, high school musical one showed that uh, you don't have to be you don't have to be uh, you don't have to stick to your group because uh, people are uh, multifaceted as stated by Jack before uh, people are People are built up of many things. So 
smart person can just can can do other things instead of just being smart. Uh, a skate a skater a skater dude can do more things like play the cello. <laughs> within the song, it's a song. Like, yeah, within the song. <laughs> Oh, the lady so was like, what is intelligence it? beyond compare. And I forgot what she's going to say. What she, what she said next. Hip hop. Uh-huh. Hip hop. Yeah, she likes to pop and laugh and jam. Pop and laugh and jam. Pop and laugh and jam. Break. And then <laughs> break. And then the, <laughs> break. And is that even legal? <laughs> <laughs> and then the skater dude. Uh, he played the cello, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, and then and his friend thought it was a saw. Yeah, <laughs> no, dude, it's like a no, giant, like a giant violin. violin. And then he got sad. that's when he got mad. <laughs> and let's yeah. not forget the first one. Don't yeah, forget the first brulee, one. Bro. Bas- Creme brulee, bro. Became ah, a running the guy. player who could bake too. Man, yeah. they're fish. Man, yeah, put the High School Musical one showed that uh, people aren't that shallow. And you should be more accepting if people try to branch out in their talents and skills instead of just sticking to one thing their whole life. Wow. Agreed. Okay, so we have, we have two and two. Okay, so before we ask um, Kanapi to come on, we're just going to talk a little bit about, you know, our the stuff that we, we dwelled on in the entire trilogy. Because we want to we wanna give fair, you know, to all three three movies because I realized that none of us mentioned the High School Musical too. And, okay. You know, okay, there's nothing wrong with that. This is the discussion part. This is the marker right here. There's nothing wrong with that movie. It's just, it's the le- it's the weakest of the trilogy. Like, High School Musical 1 and 3 could have happened without the second one. Because mm-hmm. everything that happened in the second movie was resolved by the end of the second movie. Like, they could have dealt with their job hunt off screen in between one and three. Because like the jump was really just a year and a half from the end from the end of this, the first movie and the beginning of the third movie. I ah, know, not a year and a half. Because they were juniors in the first movie. I mean the time six months. The time very, six months, six months. Very confusing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so much changed <laughs> yeah. from like each movie. Really like props, that. props to the songs of the second movie. Those, those were really like, yeah. Those are the ones that get re- really get stuck in your head. Like in the bet on it, and I don't dance, and music and me. Hello. Work this out. Yeah, yeah, work this out when they're banging on them pots and pans, and yeah, you know they're they're thinking about payday. That's actually what they were saying, pala. Yeah. When, yeah. When, when I watched the movie the first time, I, I didn't I didn't know it was payday. Yeah. Like oh, little day so sweet. Yeah. yeah, it's payday, yeah. Good enough yeah, to I eat. knew it and was payday. They're all talking about like their future. Like Jason wanted to make some motion pictures. That's what he said. Hit them all. Gotta yeah. make some motion With all pictures. My yeah. Get yeah, tickets, <laughs> tickets to the Nick Sixers. Sixers. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, yeah, who like summer is a really big part of school too, but it's not something that you dwell on when you think back to your high school life. Like, I know summer is a really big part of school because it's the part that everyone loves the most. Yeah, it's your free time. But it's not, if you if you were to say high school, summer is not what you would associate high school with. You would yeah, talk you about the school. actual experience of being in high school. Yeah. And there are a lot of things that I noticed also while re-watching. There's three scenes in the third movie that really stand out for me. The best scene, actually, in the entire movie is that small conversation between Troy and Chal in the, when they're in their togas. Like, when, when Miss Darbus calls Chad to get his diploma, and then he's not oh. there, so Troy goes, yeah. Basically, yeah, the one they're, accepting, the yeah, they're accepting that they're not going to school together. That's what the whole con That's was big. about. Because, yeah, Chad just says... Like, let me ask you, does Berkeley play? Because fun factor, I went to Berkeley, so maybe you saw John Mayer, we don't know, but... Yeah. <laughs> he chose Berkeley, and that whole part of Chad just asking, does Berkeley play? And then Troy says, yeah, we're scheduled to kick some Red Hawk butt. Yeah. Red Hawk butt at the, at the beginning it's like of whatever, the whatever the school was. Yeah. I think it's whatever the school of Chad was going to be. They were going to play, they were going to play together. I think he went together. to... Like, U of A. He went to U of A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. University of Albuquerque. That's where they were supposed mm-hmm. to go together. 
and acknowledging so he didn't that, really like, he didn't really go too far from yeah east from, from east like, uh, yeah i don't know it's just it's just a nice thought to think that even if you're not playing together like they're still gonna see each other like they're they're accepting that oh we're gonna be rivals like i'm gonna see you on the on the court and it's such it's such a good like seal for their brotherly bond like that scene really showed me that Tori and Chad are really brothers talaga like besides the whole the whole boys are back scene obviously that proved that they were childhood friends yeah the second the second and the third like stuff the, the scenes that I noticed were like in the last number already like when they're graduating number one when Troy's giving his speech I don't know if you noticed but Troy's dad puts on the cap for Berkeley oh yeah, yeah it's a super it subtle quick, like, I was like whoa subtle. like I didn't that didn't like resonate with me no, that also seals Troy's bond with his dad no, his dad's okay with whatever choices okay. his son makes because yeah. you know their whole bond the first better. second third was about Troy being afraid to disappoint his dad and yeah. you know Troy's dad accepting uh, that you know my son's gonna do this because it's what he wants it's a really really good like really good like little piece of detail that perhaps the Kenny Ortega for putting that in the last one is super subtle you know when they're when the main six characters are walking forward now from the rest of the from the oh, rest to the of the stage group. yeah to the stage <laughs> you can see for a quick second in the background that Zeke, Jason, Martha, and Kelsey also go together in the back. Aww. Like the four of them are standing in the back, which kind of symbolizes that, yeah, they're not part the of the main guy. Yeah, characters, but you know, they still got their little moment to shine also. Which is really like, that, that just made the whole movie for me. I was so happy at the end. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just, to give, okay. just to give props to High School Musical 2, they were the only one with a cameo. <laughs> Oh yeah, the so, one with Miley Cyrus, Cyrus, right? Yeah. The Miley Cyrus cameo. How many two so, seconds? Why not? Right? <laughs> yeah, among two to three seconds. Yeah, I think. Okay. I think, uh, yeah. Show her. Yeah. Okay, go, go, go. And yeah. they just wanted to show her because I think that was. I think she was just. Her pop- I, think I think she was, she was just had free time during the time of the shooting. And then it just so happened that it can help her also. Like, no, oh, they made that? they made the second movie very like interactive in a sense where like they actually had a survey or like a poll like who do you want to see in like oh. a, in a cameo? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they did. I remember who's something the other like choice? that. I, I'm curious for the other options. Yeah, who's, who's the one, other choice? Who's the <laughs> I, I don't. I don't remember. But Muso, it, Miley bro. Cyrus obviously won. So that's yeah. a Raven. Pass. Whoever. <laughs> Yo, Jonas Brothers. Why not have the uh, Jonas, Jonas Brothers? A Jonas Brothers. Uh, a Jonas Bro would have made sense because you know music. Yeah, if it was like Nick True, playing on a guitar. But the cameo didn't even. Sing. Yeah, but Just but they but they the... yeah I know. It but they so pushed Joe though. Point. Yeah, Joe but they, they were put Joe back then. I think there were even like, uh, there were even like um. Like online games on Disney.com oh, that goodness. featured High School Classic. Musical 2. I didn't yeah, play I, I played those before. Yeah, those were fun. Time. Was pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Really I guess fun. for High School Musical 2, I, I think I just found the pacing to be really slow. The slowest. Yeah. In the trilogy. Really. Yeah. And it by no means that it's like. A terrible movie or like yeah, it was a, fun. It's not, or like it's not. It, was yeah, fun. I, it was fun yeah I, I i see what they were going for you know the whole summer vacation you know everything was actually pretty if you notice the aesthetic of the entire movie everything was brighter everything yeah was, except they really just that. went they went all out with they really stepped up from the first one because the first one obviously had like a smaller budget and yeah. they were just in the yeah. school but for this one they really went all out and it's it's uh, I appreciate that, you know, they really embraced the whole idea of high schoolers actually like working in some high end country club and like but I guess in the desert. what kinda threw me off with the movie is that it was a bit too cheesy and the drama was a little it was immature. Super, it was yeah. it was immature, I, it was yeah. it was <laughs> toxic. It was super toxic. Like, I'm sorry, but yeah, I they should have dropped Sharpay, man. I Sharpay was so mean in the 
in the yeah. second movie. Yeah, so uh, yeah, that's also hey. weird because like in fairness, with the though, ending, she redeemed by movie. giving Troy college colleges, right? No, no, she didn't. See, Nothing okay, people anything. people think that Charpe was actually trying to help Troy, but her motives no, were to get she Troy was... to be with her. That's so yeah. wrong. Yeah. It's fine. It's just motives lang naman. Okay, so like, so we know that was more for matter. Sharpe. They did redeem, <laughs> like, the, everything. Like, they resolved everything in the last, in the climax song, every day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, at least, at least there was a feel-good moment, despite all the drama and heavy stuff almost really unnecessary you would kind of think that oh god like god like troy's like troy's friends can sometimes kind of be like yeah they can be insensitive about, like, yeah, yeah they can be kind of insensitive that's why like troy kind of had like a, like a meltdown <laughs> right? during bet on it but troy yeah. naman, <laughs> you could you could say that oh he was a bit like distance from them even though technically he didn't really choose to be distant at, he could have at least like you know checked up on more his buddies yeah, yeah checked up more Parang kind of show like show that he does care even though he's getting all these treatments because he, he kind of became a little oblivious at some points in yeah. the movie it kind of became annoying he became, he became it's also unrealistic ash. like troy being troy he should have known how all that stuff would make his friends feel. Yeah, like, did yeah. he already learn from the previous one? Yeah, so the that, first one. That's, yeah, to, so basically so, yeah. some of the problem with the second movie, uh, it's just, it didn't make sense of, like, how their interactions were after how they resolved High School Musical 1. Like, we're all in this together. The next movie, they're just they so just practical. split again. Yeah, yeah, so they're quickly. split up. Yeah, so quickly. I mean, like, I guess. Okay. Chaka, High School Musical Two didn't make sense, eh? Because uh, you could skip a guy from High School One to Three without even having two. Yeah, without there's no difference. Yeah, no difference. Okay, yeah. like to be uh, fair, to be fair, I mean, you could say that it's more of a like an acquired side, taste, like for people yeah, who like true. the people who like the aesthetic of outside the high school. And the fact that they were able to, you know, kind of like make a fun, albeit, albeit being awkward sequel in between. It, <laughs> it's, 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 still, it's still cool. To get them to go it's still end. cool. But, uh, yeah, and, and the songs, like the songs are really nice. The, the, songs, songs, really the songs always redeem whatever mistakes they do. Yeah, I think the second movie yeah. had the, the best choreography, carried. hands down. Yeah, like, best choreography. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. True. Yeah. Bet on it. I don't dance. Unfortunately, like though, that. yeah, that's all it kind of. Yeah, that's all it has going for it, kind of for me. Because story-wise, it's group the mess choreography, right? It had a lot of group it, choreography. It, it, yeah, it dude, what, time really, what time is it? Really, what time is it? Work this out. Work, work this out. Yeah, I feel Better like that's it, what. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hell, it was a solo. I also yeah. like that solo the movie group. starts out with Chad singing. Which kind of establishes oh, yeah. him now as a uh-huh. main character because the whole first movie Chad Actually. does not sing at all. None. Oh, yeah. There's no yeah. part where Chad sings, and he's the first one to sing in the second movie. Oh. Huh. Yeah, right. Huh. And that's a, that's another part. That I was like, oh yeah, that's probably why they made Chad be the one to sing. What time is it? Also, his shirts. I don't notice if you if you like if you saw <laughs> yeah. the messages. I made her in vacation. Yeah, I made her in vacation, and then in the end, his shirt says he did it. Which I think kind of symbolizes Troy, like, uh, able to like fix wow. his stuff. Yeah, I don't oh. know. This is fun fact. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but like, I, I was more attentive in this. Yeah, so it's nothing wrong with the second movie. It's just that for us, the other two were stronger. Yeah, the other two were stronger as films. But but um, they did across all three movies. At least the main. Like the main message of, like just uh, knowing what you want, right, is present. So at least they were pretty consistent. So yeah, I yeah. guess some movies were just executed better yeah. than the others. Yeah. So yeah, tweak Overall, a few fantastic. things with the second. The second movie. Tweak a few things with the second movie. Lot. Could have been better. <laughs> yeah, it could, have, could, it could have had a fighting chance things. to be the best. Yeah. If it did, just a few like things better some than things, they did. Some things didn't hit right. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like I, the concept is there, the execution wasn't. Yeah, I mean, some people think it's the best. Like a good number yeah. of people think it's the best. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and no argument there. Like everyone has their own preference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We'd love okay. to hear your thoughts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Comment. Okay. <laughs> Kanapi, it's time for you to seal this podcast with your verdict based on all time of our time for you to shine, Kanapi. Thoughts. Yeah. Seal really. Uh-huh. Camera. <laughs> Apologies at least if ever he logs. Wi Fi connection, you know, in this country is not the best. Especially yes. it was funny considering me, J- me, Jago, and Ramon live in a one kilometer, within the one kilometer radius of each other. <laughs> also, so, so. I mean, you all just met up together. No, no, don't do that. Be safe at home. COVID. Yeah, please don't. Don't. Don't leave. <laughs> okay, so. I've been playing the part of unbiased viewer, <laughs> giving my verdict on all of your uh, all of your views on your favorite movie. Because you know I'm not as much a fan as all of you guys are. You guys kind of know that, right? And I watched we watched all of it because like we have no choice. The Disney Channel movie at 7:30 p.m. Um, Got the so, whole world together. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So I think. If I were to give my verdict on how, because you guys are divided, right? You guys are divided on one and three. No one likes two. No one likes two. I think that's like the gag. It's the gag. Uh, the middle one. It's like the middle child of the High School Musical series. No one likes the middle child. Um. So, based on what you said, I feel that most of you, even the ones who chose High School Musical three, really like High School Musical one simply because it's a bit more memorable and it hit you guys more because it's it prepared you for high school. You guys like to musical three also because, you know, it hits more because it's more recent. You know, we just graduated from high school four years ago and, you know, all of us just finished college very recently. I'm not going to, let's not, let's not say exactly how long it took, but, you know, it was like a second high school for all of us. So, um, I'd like to say the it's not it, number one wins hands down because you ask anybody they'll always pick, most people will pick high school musical, and I understand that you guys like why you guys like third movie. It's because you know there are a lot of things that you wanted in high school that didn't end up happening. <laughs> we all we all felt things that happened but didn't eventually happen. Because, you know, life's not like the movies. But at least it gave you a taste of the movies. Like, romances and basketball. Because God knows none of us were varsity. So yeah, High School Musical 1 wins hand down. Because it's the most memorable. But High School Musical 3 also has good merit. Because it's the end of a good series. The end of an excellent trilogy. And it's the one where they're matured and it... It came kind of early for us because we weren't even high school when it came when the third one came out. But it prepared us for college. You know, we're lucky enough that we're in the Philippines and our colleges are within driving distance of each other. But you know, we prepared ourselves for high school musical, a high school musical style life. And you know, in the public sphere, it, that movie influenced popular uh, trends and popular feelings on how. For high schools, and yeah, so no one likes high school musical too. I mean, it's not again. It's not that we don't like. It's not that we hate it. It it, it, it just didn't reach. It the just same wasn't vibe a pick. Yeah. It's just we we have a we have a better like preference rather than picking yeah. the second. We don't hate it. I kind of understand it yeah. because um, how do I put this? Yeah, it's not. I wouldn't call it high school musical too because they they didn't spend any. They spent like. 10 minutes inside of a high school and the rest of the resort. <laughs> yeah, you should go to summer school, summer school musical or something. <laughs> so basically, it has music ones. One is the most memorable and the one that touched us hearts the most. Number two had the best choreography. Down. Yeah. <laughs> and number three was the one where it's the most memorable Ended. because goodbyes are always the... The ones the, you remember. The ones Farewell. you remember. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, so you heard nope, it here. Nope. High School Musical 1 
is this group's top choice. Everyone else has their own opinions, and we, you know, we respect all of your opinions. Whoever likes High School Musical to the best. To each guys. his own. Yeah, to each his own. Yeah. Comment. Yeah. Comment down below. Which one Comment down I below if you guys want. Just say all your thoughts on what you thought of this episode or what your favorite High School Musical is and why. But, uh, yeah. Thank you, Kanapi, for joining us today. And thank we you, may have him back. <laughs> we may have him back in a future Actually. episode. <laughs> yeah, we we have a lot of plans coming up for you guys, so stay tuned for those. But till then, we will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in to more screw up sesh. We'll hope we'll see you again.